Hey, what's up, VC? Welcome back. This is Hubtoons. I am Mike. Uh, another episode of Get Off My Turntable, where I pick five records that I have been listening to nonstop for the last couple of weeks. I haven't done one of these for a while, so um, yeah, that'd be fun. Uh, before I get going, I really, really want to say thank you and hello and welcome to all my new subscribers and all my new viewers. Uh, a couple weeks ago, maybe about a month ago, I put... Uh, I've been putting videos on Twitter. I've been trying to figure out how Twitter works. <laughs> um, so I've been putting putting videos on Twitter, uh, and uh, I, the response seems to have been really, really good. So um, I'm sure once I get, <laughs> once I figure out what the hell I'm doing, it could get even better. Uh, but thank you and welcome. I wanted to just say that, and um, I totally, totally appreciate everyone who watches and subscribes. So let's get right onto it. Uh, I usually pick five records. I think I got five here. This is what I've been listening to. Other than new releases, I try not to put too many new releases in that in here because or new finds because I also do vinyl finds videos and I don't want to repeat everything. But a couple of these are kind of uh, new vinyl finds. So we'll just start with this. This is Witch. Out of, I believe they're out of Nambia, maybe. Uh, this is from the early, mid mid seventies. Probably Zamrock, I guess, would be the best way to describe it. They are reissuing all of their records. This is on green vinyl. Uh, this is in the past. This is my favorite of their albums. Um, yeah, definitely from the Zamrock kind of mid mid to late seventies. Post independence in uh, that area. This is a absolutely terrific, terrific record. Uh, if you have not heard this and you're a fan of, I honestly I compare it to like Exile on Main Street. It's right up there with that style of just kind of sloppy but fun rock and roll. Um, it, it, it's great. It really is a wonderful record. Somebody was telling me that they actually saw them live a couple of years ago in New York City. Um, there's only one original member left, and I think the other guy has been in the band quite since like the 80s, but there's only one original member left, and he said it was a night of just dancing and rocking. He said they were absolutely fantastic, so I don't know if they still tour. I don't know if they're going to come to the United States, given everything that's going on here, but who knows? If you see them at some club, tiny club somewhere, go check them out. This is Witch in the Past. So I've been listening to that like crazy. This is a new vinyl finds. I think I I think I picked this up in October, but this is um this is a jazz record. Uh, Lawrence of Newark. This is Larry Young. I have fallen in love with this record. This was a blind buy. My guy at the record store was I, I saw it on the shelf. It's a reissue. Um, just came out. I had never heard it before. I loved Larry Young. He's more of a. It's in the vein of like um, Jimmy Smith. Uh, more of a soul organ, organ player, keyboards, uh, more soul funk uh, jazz. This is not like that, though. This, uh, and I, I said this in my video the last time I showed this, this has got an Eastern feel, a Middle Eastern feel to it, maybe an Indian vibe. It is really, really cool. And it's definitely not like any of Larry Young's other records. This is really, really cool. I highly recommend this. This is Lawrence of Newark. Check it out. If you're a jazz fan, if you like Jimmy Smith, organ-based, you know, organ-based stuff, you'll like him a lot. I love. I, maybe I'll do a video on uh, on his records. I have about ten of his records, and I I adore all of them. But this one has shot to like my favorite of all his records. It is really really cool. Uh, this next one, I've been listening to this because this is Nick Waterhouse. He is a terrific terrific singer songwriter. Uh, this is called, what is, I, this is just self-titled. Uh, he. I, I, this has been inspired, it's been on the turntable because I bought this last year. I think it came out in 2018, maybe 2000, no, maybe 2019. And I absolutely love this record. He also has a new album out and that's what kind of inspired me to put this back on. I like his new record. It's really good. It's going to be definitely in my top 20 of uh, the year, but... This one really, really stands out. I love this record. Um, first of all, I appreciate so much a band or an artist or you know, this, this packaging is absolutely gorgeous. He, he I mean, like stout and covered jackets, uh, thick. This is thick, you know, and it comes with a polyline sleeve. It's on 180 gram. It, the packaging on both of it, his new record is the same way. 
absolutely gorgeous. I, I appreciate that so much. But this is a terrific record. This is more, he's got a, kind of a, I don't want to say twangy, but yeah, kind of a twangy 50s uh, rock, I don't want to say rockabilly, but kind of just like a 50s rock twang to him. And he's absolutely terrific. He's a wonderful guitarist. His guitar work, it, it shines on this record more than his new record, um, but I, I would, if I were going to pick up any of his records, this is the one I would start with. Definitely check him out. Very, very cool, interesting, very interesting artist. Um, I'm actually going to see him, I think it's in April or May. I got tickets to go see him. So I'm um, really, really looking forward to that. This is Nick Waterhouse. This is his self-titled. It's not his first record, but it's just self-titled. But gorgeous record. Check him out. Uh, I've been doing a little more jazz, too. This is... Um, this is uh, Indestructible by Art Blakey and the Jazz Messengers. <sighs> I'm going to say something controversial. I love Monin. Monin, obviously, is one of the great jazz records of all time. But I like this better. <laughs> I don't know why. I absolutely love this record. And it's probably recorded right around the same time. I think it came out maybe two records after. I'm not sure. Uh, this is a uh, Blue Note 80 uh, release. This is, um, yeah, this is definitely one of, one of the 80s, and it sounds absolutely phenomenal. Um, Lee Morgan on trumpet, Curtis Fuller on trombone, Wayne Shorter on tenor sax, Cedar Walton on piano, Reggie Workman on bass, and Art Blakey on drums. Uh, you got one, two, two Curtis Fuller compositions, one Lee Morgan composition, and one Wayne Shorter composition, actually, too. So uh, just a wonderful, wonderful record. I I don't know. I'm sure that my opinion on Monin and this, or, uh, yeah, somebody's going to tear me apart in the comments about that, but I don't care. I absolutely adore this record. It, it's a wonderful record, and I find it, I just find it. I, I'm not saying it's better than, but it, in my taste, I absolutely love this thing, and I will. I would throw this on before Monin. I've also heard Monin a thousand times, you know. <laughs> Sometimes I, I just don't need to hear some of the classic records ever again, you know. I'm, we all have records like that, right? I, how often do we listen? I never listen to Kind of Blue. Never listen to Kind of Blue. But it's one of the great jazz records of all time. But anyway, <laughs> enough of that. Uh, last record. I've shown this before, I believe. I don't know. This is L's. This is live at the Royal Al Albert Hall. Um... This is a gorgeous, gorgeous record. I like Els. I like um, his electric stuff is really cool. But this is a, um, this is a, is this him. It's mostly acoustic. It's a wonderful package. Um, a lot of it's acoustic. There's some heavier electric stuff on here, but you get, it's a three record set. That's one. He does have a full band. Three. Um, he does have the rest of the band. And it, it also came with a CD. It's all, this is a beautiful set. And it sounds absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And the, the reason I'm showing this is because I hadn't listened to it for a long time. And then a couple of nights ago, I, I said to myself, you know, it's one of those live records. Where I, you know what? I have to listen to it all the way through. I just, you know, I can't pick and choose what songs I'm going to listen to. So the other night, I had a bottle of wine, and I listened to this all the way through, all three discs, and it is absolutely gorgeous. This is L's at the Royal Albert Hall. Um, I don't know what year it is, but um, it's not too long ago. Absolutely wonderful. If you like L's, this is a must-have in your collection. Absolutely must-have. Uh, that's it. I'm um, trying to keep these under 10 minutes from now on because I got a lot of comments about my Gary Newman video that went like 45 minutes but who cares I don't care whatever um, you guys stay safe everyone have a great weekend and I will talk to you very very soon bye <laughs>